The architect of our new defense barriers is the United States Air Force with its Air Defense Command. The Air Defense Command is assigned the mission of defending the United States against air attack. This mission carries with it a grave responsibility. The destructive effect of nuclear weapons is so tremendous that any failure to defend ourselves would cost us millions of lives. We have a large area to protect. unit called the Air Defense Direction Center, the operational heart of the air defense system. The Direction Center maintains contact with all operating forces in defense. Working in semi-darkness, the Direction Center tracks and guides aircraft with powerful radar and records the tracking information on a huge transparent grid map. Flight patterns become visible in the darkened room. An unknown airplane becomes immediately apparent. The Air Defense Direction Center gives the command that sends F-89D interceptor aircraft aloft for check or attack. And they maintain continuous contact by telephone and radio with the Air Defense Control Center. All operational elements of planning and coordinated command for the defense of a huge area or sector are made at this air defense control center. It is the brain of the operational defense network. It controls the several direction centers covering its area or sector. Information from all subordinate units, as well as from CAA and military flight service, is carefully posted, logged, and coordinated. On the basis of forces available, command decisions are made and sent to various units. Here also, normal as well as combat flight is plotted and monitored. The Air Defense Control Center can also be classed as the nerve center of area defense, for every piece of important information passes to or through it. Liaison is maintained with the United States Army anti-aircraft forces as well as with the naval forces participating. The Air Defense Control Center, through contact with its squadrons and groups, maintains a constant knowledge of the state of readiness of all interceptor aircraft. For the interceptor aircraft is the ultimate key in the air defense system. What observers like Mrs. Jones begin, the F-89D Scorpion will finish. It is the first air defense airplane ever completely designed for round-the-clock, all-weather interception. It is packed with special mechanisms that can almost think for themselves. Once the pilot and radar operator have found the enemy, the F-89 automatic equipment locks on the target. The flight control and rocket firing systems act as an electromechanical brain, computing the necessary lead and rocket range. The conclusion reached is passed to the firing mechanism. Once the F-89 is in range and on the target, the signal is automatically given to fire the rockets. The F-89D is the most heavily armed interceptor in the Air Force. It furnishes powerful home defense. There are 104 deadly rockets in its wingtip pods which, when fired, form a death trap of explosives the size of a football field. Any one of the 104 rockets can destroy an enemy airplane. No rocket debris can be drawn into the engines. No smoke or flash interferes with the crew's vision. The one-piece canopy on the F-89D furnishes an unobstructed view and is easy to jettison. The cockpit has ample workroom and storage space for survival equipment. The modern speed brake, the Deceleron, enables the Scorpion to slow down rapidly or dive almost vertically. The twin turbojet engines provide a round-trip margin of safety and contribute to the success of interceptor missions. 
Each engine has an afterburner, which makes possible a tremendous climbing speed to 45,000 feet, a speed so necessary to an interceptor. This added power puts the F-89D in the 600 mile an hour class. The men who crew the F-89 interceptor do not think in terms of an eight hour day or a 40 hour week. They are around the clock, seven day a week men who provide an umbrella of protection eight miles above the earth. It takes more than two years and $100,000 to train air crews to the exceedingly high proficiency so necessary in the defense of our nation. Highly trained mechanics keep their aircraft and radar ready for peak performance. These air defense crews must perform their duty day or night, regardless of weather conditions. A duty completed only when the universal hope for world peace is realized. The Soviets now have the capability of atomic attack on us. And such capability will increase with the passage of time. So wrote our president. The danger to our country can only be met with preparedness. The airmen are ready, but they need your help. An enemy atomic bomber striking at the heart of our country would probably attempt evasive maneuvers such as diversionary low altitude approach to escape radar detection. Once through, it would probably rely on high speed and high altitude to reach its target undetected. But ground observers backing up the radar will detect it before it reaches the target. Instantaneous communications speed the detection information to the volunteers at the filler station who quickly post it on the grid map. Tentatively, it is labeled as a strange aircraft because the reported information does not match the flight plan on hand. The readily recognizable filler center symbol indicates it's unidentified. This information is quickly passed to the direction center. The unidentified aircraft is picked up and tracked by direction center radar. Its speed, altitude, and course are plotted. An absolute check is made to make sure that the aircraft is not a friendly one off its course. It's unknown. At 07.33 hours, the order is given to scramble the F-89 interceptor. forwarded to Air Defense Force and the Air Defense Command. The U.S. Army anti-aircraft partners immediately pick up the target. Control, this is Red Cap Leader. Do you read? 
Roger, Red Cap leader. Busboy Control reading you loud and clear. Over. Busboy Control, this is Red Cap leader. Three Fox 89 Airborne at 0738. Red Cap leader, this is Busboy Control. Vector 273 degrees. Angel 15. We'll be tracking 180 degrees. Range 50 miles. Roger, Busboy Control. Vector 273. Angels 15. Bogey tracking 180 degrees. Range 50 miles. Over. Red Cap Leader, this is Busboy Control. You are closing on target. Search port. Roger, Busboy. Searching port. Roger, Red Cap Leader. Tally ho, go get him. team that guards our land, our liberty, our home, and our family. It is the modern defense barrier. 